Hello, Internet. Welcome to my couch. 2014 was a great year for us. When we started off, we had just crossed a million subscribers, and at the time we had no idea who Rosalina's true parents were. We still thought that Minecraft creepers were animals, and not radioactive moss monsters, and we weren't as scared as we probably should have been of singing animatronic robots. Since that time, we've covered everything from hook shots to healing to hackers. But best of all, we managed to triple the number of loyal theorists that are in our little community here, which is just mind-blowing that three million people all love overthinking video games as much as I do. So, that being said, I wanted to finish 2014 off right by taking on a topic that I hear from you guys a lot, which is game theory behind the scenes. How do I select certain topics? What video editing and audio recording software do we use? Why I haven't done the dating simulation episode yet? Stuff like that. So, without further ado, you've requested it. Here is Game Theory Behind the Scenes. Or maybe we should make this a little bit more interesting. So, to produce an episode of Game Theory, we follow six-ish steps. Step one, coming up with the idea. The first and most important decision that goes into every episode of Game Theory is, what game do I want to talk about? Since this decision can either make or break an episode, I've come up with a complex algorithm of factors that weighs in everything from volume of fan requests, to Google searchability data, to game release calendars, to a special little number I like to call Theorizability Index. Nintendo! How do I keep getting this? Weird. Step 2. After going through such a careful process for selecting the game, we go through an equally meticulous process for selecting the editor. Ronnie! Oh, the worst. So, with the perfect editor precisely selected for the project at hand, it's time to give them their new assignment. One of the things that a lot of people don't know about us theorists is that we live all across the country. I'm in California, there's Texas, Arkansas, Idaho, North Carolina. We're all over the place. So we have to use Skype in order to communicate, since it's the thing that all gamers use, and besides, who can resist this face? And by this face, I mean Ronnie's face. Mine is awkwardly prepubescent. Anyway, that Skype conversation is typically a short one because everyone's super excited about tackling the episode at hand. Hey Ronnie, got a new theory for ya. It's gonna be great, people are gonna talk about it for weeks. It's Nintendo, no PewDiePie. No. Ronnie, please, I'm desperate here. I, I really need you to do this episode. You can make fun of Gaijin Goomba. Fine. Great, glad to have you on board, buddy. Step three, writing. Now this is where the creative process truly begins, as I let the inspiration flow through me and onto the page. The research process is grueling. To ensure that I'm only working with the most accurate numbers possible, I comb through hours worth of gameplay footage. Wario's height, 10 feet, write it down. And we make sure that episodes of Game Theory are backed by only the most credible of sources. Next up, audio recording. For those of you who've asked, I use an Audio-Technica AT2020 USB cardioid microphone and Soul Republic headphones. All sound recording takes place in our professional level sound booth, where we have precise control over every audio component that takes place in the show. Hey, I'm doing a recording! Oh, and recently, we've upgraded to a new space. Skip, I'm gonna do a recording.
Hey, we're gonna do a recording. Audio recording in this way can sometimes be a hassle, but it's worth it to know that every piece of sound in an episode will be pristine. Yeah, he's recording. I'll have him call you as soon as he comes out of the closet. Shh. Excuse me, recording. Quiet, please, thank you. Shh, you too, Skip. Step four, visual editing. So for editing, I recommend using Adobe Premiere Pro, but trust me, I get that that program's expensive. So if you're just starting off, use whatever's on your computer. When I started Game Theory, my first 20 episodes or so were all using whatever video editor I had on my computer at the time. This thing was rough. It only had two layers, had no animation qualities whatsoever, so I had to go into Photoshop and edit the images that I was using two pixels at a time, moving them bit by bit by bit. I was stop motioning editing these whole seven minute episodes it was crazy. So you can make a good product with not the best equipment. That being said, this part of the process is truly where two minds come together as one. Okay, so I want Mario to appear on screen in a cloud of smoke, then I want us to animate a lyrical jazz routine that he can perform to the tune Still Alive from Portal. And um, let's have Donkey Kong swing back and forth across the screen every uh, 2.8 seconds or so, okay? I got this. Ronnie, this is brilliant! You totally got what I was going for. Step five. Once Ronnie has slaved away for a couple days putting the episode together, he sends me the first draft and I send him back notes to polish the whole thing up. When we first started working together, we did everything via email. This is how long the scripts are, and this is how long the notes were. It would literally take me a whole day to draft these things up, and there would still be confusion over what I meant by a certain note. Needless to say, it wasn't a good system. So recently, we switched over to using the Quick App. It's an app made by Skype, but it's used for sending short video messages back and forth. That way I can send Ronnie notes anytime, anywhere, inspiration may hit. Ronnie, amazing brony joke I want you to work into the next episode. Ready? Rainbow Dash and Sonic walk into a bar where an old man is like, Hey guys, what are you doing? The dancing numbers? Right now they're more tango? Think merengue. By the way, Ronnie, separate note, this toasted sugar body rub you have got to try. My skin literally feels like butter. Like butter, Ronnie. Butter. Hey Ronnie, notice that you didn't put that brony joke in there yet. Things gonna be hilarious. Bronies for days. By the way, totally gotta try this toilet paper. Amazing. And what's awesome is that he can watch these notes as many times as he needs to while he's editing. <laughs> next couple days, Ronnie and I trade notes and drafts back and forth until finally, step six, it's done and uploaded and you guys are the final judges of how it all went. I still try to read as many notes as possible on new uploads so I can keep learning and growing from your constructive feedback. Your face is stupid and I hate you. At the end of the day, although we make fun of it here, making game theory does take a lot of work and so to see you guys respond as enthusiastically as you do, it's just, it's unbelievable. Knowing that we get to create something cool and share it with millions of people week after week, that's, that's incredible and sometimes kind of scary. We have a lot of really exciting things coming up in 2015, things that I think that you're gonna really like. We're gonna keep trying to top ourselves as long as you guys are willing to keep watching, so hopefully you'll like what we do. I think you're gonna like it. I'm fairly confident. I am almost completely positive that you're gonna like what we're gonna do. But then again, that's just a theory. Okay. Hey, to thank you for all your support in 2014, I wanna kick off 2015 with a bang by doing a theory that you suggest that stars you. So here's how it's gonna work. Between now and my next episode, I'm gonna be collecting quick videos that you submit to me with your theory ideas, pieces of evidence, whatever you feel like sending me. Then I'll take the most suggested topic and figure out creative and fun ways to work all the videos that you've submitted to me into the actual episode. So if you have a theory you wanna submit, this is what you're gonna to wanna to do. First, get the Quick App. 
The reason I selected it is because it's free, there are no passwords, it's easy to use, and it helps me keep track of everything that comes in from you guys. Secondly, you're going to want to submit your video to the number 323-609-8353. That's the number I'm going to be using to accumulate all the videos that you guys submit. And then, that's really about it, honestly. And remember, I'm going to try to use as many of your videos as possible in the episode, so creativity counts. Do you want to sing your theory and evidence from the rooftops? Be safe, but go for it. As a musical theater guy, I appreciate that. Do you want to write your theory in seashells on the beach? Creative, that's pretty cool. Take a lot of time, but hey, bonus points for you, sir. Just so you know, the theory will probably have to take place in February because of the time to collect the submissions and do the research and everything, but I don't want you guys riding me like you did with Watch Dogs Part 2. So I guess that's it. I'll see you in 2015. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got some recording to do for a new episode, so uh, bye. Bye, get out, go. I don't want you to hear what I'm talking about. It's top secret, top secret. I came up with a complex algorithm that weighs in everything from volume of fan data to Google searchability data as well. Data all over the place. Just so much data. Blow your mind into data. <laughs> this algorithm factors in everything from volume of fan requests to Google searchability data to game release schedules to a special little number I have specially con- Special! Stop saying things multiple times, Matthew! It's gonna be great. People are gonna talk about this game. Oh, God. You are so bad at this skin. You, you are such a- Learn to be a cat. Yeah, right? Like, cats are supposed to be, like, graceful and stuff. <laughs>